We've been keeping pretty busy down at the second property. We've been down there a few to separate times, cut down a few more trees that we decided needed to go, and we've hauled all of our firewood out of there. We ended up with about a little over a cord of birch wood sitting here, and we still have a little bit more down there. A little update on the Husqvarna that the tree fell on. It snapped the spark plug off, and I put a new spark plug in and was able to get it to fire up, so that is good. And I noticed a crack in the gas tank. I did put some JB Weld on there, and then I realized that there was way more than one crack, so I am actually gonna have to order a new gas tank for it, which kind of sucks because it's a special order and it's probably going to take a while to get, but I think we're going to be able to get this thing going. Tomorrow is going to be a pretty big day for us. We are renting a commercial size wood chipper, kind of like the style that you tow behind a truck, and we're going to be bringing it down to the other property and we are going to be chipping up all those piles of brush. So it's going to be definitely a very long day for us. But today it is freezing out here. I think we woke up this morning, it was like 18 degrees. So we have some work to do in the garden. We're pretty much going to get everything pulled up. So that's what's next. What do you want to work on? Uh, what about that little shovel? It's right down the Because we'll need it. You're not going to need this? No. Oh, it's, it's just the top. Yeah. It's pretty frozen. <laughs> Is the beet frozen? Uh, no. Be, right? No, they look good. Yeah. It's just the ground. No, it's a little frozen. That'll be fine now. See how they did like they kind of went fat? Yeah. Big beat. I can not eat that whole time. Hey, that one looks like it got frozen right there. So why did it pull out? Yeah. Did yeah. it? I don't think so. Why does it look all like that? All like what? Ripley. Oh, is that just how it looks? Yeah, one of them like that looked over there too. I don't know. Kind of grab them down low with them and come out. Okay. I'm gonna carry it. That's a carrot? No. Oh. <laughs> oh no, that one. This one's over here. This one might be a thick out. Well, they only get thick at the top. Oh, Use a shovel. No, I don't need a shovel. It's just that. You don't want to break his root because that's the. That's the... It's got to use leverage. <sighs> that's a nice parsnip right there. I don't even understand how you're actually pulling them out without breaking them because I always break them. These ones were exposed I think is what happened. Yeah. Sorry. That was a not right thing. That's a big beat right there. You're going to have to cut that one again. Wow. Wild greens. Come here, chicken. We're pretty much done for the day out here. We have pretty much cleaned up the entire garden and have very little left in here to harvest. The chickens got lots of greens and Eric dug up about half of our leeks behind me. We're gonna save the rest for canning and these are going to be cleaned and put in the freezer. I still have to get our beets and parsnips cleaned up. So we're gonna head inside to get that done.
We're layering our beets and parsnips in this five gallon bucket. That's how we're gonna be storing them in our cabin this year. I actually did this last week with our carrots. I harvested all of them and it wasn't a great yield this year, but that's okay because we don't really have a great way to store them. And another thing we're doing this year is canning a lot more of our stuff. So I've got to get this finished up. We've got to get our leeks still cleaned. And we're also going to be blanching some of our Brussels sprouts and getting them out in the freezer. We are all done for the night. I'm getting the leeks and the Brussels sprouts in here and then we will see you guys tomorrow at the other property. What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Go, get out here. here for a couple hours this morning and we're making some progress we got almost the whole driveway done this wood chipper we rented this thing is awesome it's a Vermeer I don't know what size it is or anything but it's really powerful we have a lot left to do I don't know if you can see behind me but we have these just massive piles of brush it's uh, actually turned out that the Aspen is the hardest brush to get through that chipper because the branches are just like all over the place so it's really hard to get them to feed in that thing and then we have just we just have piles all over we got them in the forest here just all over. So we got a lot of work to do. We're gonna get back to work and we're gonna see how far we can get. Okay, we have hit our halfway point. We've ran the machine for four hours and we've got it for eight. And I think we're definitely gonna need every little last minute we have. We've got these massive piles done. That Aspen, the tops of them just totally slows us down. And I think we're both kind of tired. So we're gonna go take a lunch break 
and get back to it. We need to get this whole area done, but we got a big, big portion done here. There's massive piles. And then if we have some extra time, we may get some more of the dead trees around the front of the driveway. It was a long day of wood chipping. We worked well into the evening. It is the next day. We have returned the wood chipper and we are back out here. We are gonna show you guys around, show you what we did. First off, we did have some extra time with the wood chipper and we were able to get some of the other down trees that we wanted to get other than our brush piles that we already had. One area was right over there. Believe me, it looks a lot better than it did. That was a mess. I had to take down a bunch of trees that were hung up, but that was one area that we worked on. Still needs some more work. Like I said, we worked into the evening last night, so we didn't really get to see what this looked like, and it looks pretty good. It's actually starting to look like a nice driveway. So this was an, another area that there was a bunch of brush piled up. Got all that taken care of. Basically the whole driveway was just covered with brush on the edge. We had to put it somewhere, and then we ended up with a lot of wood chips. We have a bunch of small piles, and then we have one huge pile down here at the end. Let's go check that out. So pretty, Pretty nice to have that all chipped down. As you can tell, we have snow. And we have a little more snow up at our house. We're a little higher elevation. So these wood chips are gonna stay here until the spring and then we'll start hauling them up to our house and we've got a couple things we wanna use them for. Uh, one of them is the apple orchard. So really nice to have these chips. And the stuff that we don't bring up to our house, like I said, we have a bunch of little piles all over. We're just gonna bring a rake down and kind of spread them around because I think these are gonna break down really fast out here. So we have spent some time getting rid of some of the downed wood. We've said this before, there's a ton of like old trees that have fallen here and this place has never been cleaned up, but we did spend some time getting rid of some of those, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. And then what we also did is, now that we've spent more time out here and we've kind of opened things up, we're starting to realize that there is more trees that need to come down. We did take a few down, maybe like 10 more since the last video, but um, I think we're gonna leave it at that. And then as we start building things and maybe get an excavator in here, we'll kind of decide if we want to take a few more down. There might be a couple that we're thinking about taking down. But the area behind us, which is the main area, is looking very good. We got it all cleared up and we got all the brush chipped out of there. We have got a lot of work done out here. There's a lot of work that needs to be done plan is to do some with these stumps and hopefully the weather holds and we'll be able to get to it this year but I think that's going to do it for today we're going to head home because it's getting cold out here